Real estate companies, utilities, banks, restaurants, just a sample of the businesses that make up the Alberta LGBTQ plus Chamber of Commerce. For more on the organization, we're joined by a member of the board. Mo Yassine is the board chair. Good morning, Mo. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for coming in to talk about it. What inspired the formation of this organization? Um, yeah, for sure. So our organization started in 2017 with a group of our uh, founding members, actually, a handful of our directors in Calgary. And um, since then, our, our chamber has grown across the province. And uh, really, the establishment of our chamber fills a little bit of a unique space in our province. So we're a chamber of commerce that... Um, our vision in our province is believing in the power of business, of making the Alberta economy the most inclusive economy for gender and sexually diverse um, individuals. And um, it was started with the mission of really bringing together businesses, communities, government, uh, to build a thriving uh, business community that um, is supportive of uh, the equalities and inclusion of all uh, gender and sexually diverse individuals in commerce and at work. And, uh, the work since have been um, um, have been uh, really picking up momentum across our different cities and communities in Alberta. So, yeah. So the various companies that want to be part of it obviously already feel like this is an important thing that they want to. You know, be a proponent of, I would think, right? For sure, definitely. Over um, over the past um, the past few years, there's been um, there's been a lot of progress that's been made, and definitely a lot still to happen in terms of uh, ensuring that we're building a more inclusive Alberta economy. So our chamber consists of um, many um, uh, queer-owned and uh, operated businesses, but also we do have a number of allied businesses or organizations that are truly realizing the value and the importance. Of of ensuring that um, all of our uh, commercial and business spaces across the province are truly inclusive and the importance of having a go-to organization or knowing the different resources that companies can go to in terms of better supporting their employees and creating more inclusive spaces for um, for their businesses and their customers at a, at a whole, for sure. So how did you first become aware of it and, and why did you want to be a part of it? Yeah, for sure. So uh, I often get asked this question and um, it, it was uh, truly a fluke. I was going through my LinkedIn feed and actually one of, uh, one of our chamber members at the time had, uh, had posted um, on, um, on their LinkedIn about their anniversary with his husband. And to me, I, um, it stopped me right in my scroll in my feed. I was like, wait a second, um, this is interesting because the feedback I've been given as a professional earlier in my career is that really Alberta is not a place for you that this is something that you can truly display authentically who you are. If in you other remember, words, you should yeah, hide it. it yeah. Precisely. Yeah. And for me, and LinkedIn tends to be a little bit more of that professional platform. So part of that conversation led to there was a lot of dialogue on that post. And from there, I came across the chamber. And then it truly, um, it was one of those moments in my career that that um, I didn't even realize that the chamber existed. And ever since um, joining, I didn't realize just how many other uh, like-minded professionals and entrepreneurs and um, businesses in terms of um, um, that community that the chamber fostered. So that spoke quite well to me because it was a complete um, perspective shift that Alberta is more inclusive. Right. There, um, uh, There is efforts, uh, there are efforts that are being made and um, uh, the connections that I've built, the uh, uh, the sense of uh, support that I've been having as a professional and as an entrepreneur um, truly changed the trajectory of my career. And really? Yeah, I, I personally, how I view myself as a professional in the province has, has shifted throughout that association for sure. That's nice to hear. Yeah, thank That's you. really yeah. cool. I mean, this is Pride Month, so how is the chamber marking the occasion? Um, we uh, we are quite excited actually this year to be uh, starting a number of executions on our strategic plan and uh, part of that, uh, one of the most exciting partnerships that we're excited about um, uh, formalizing and announcing soon is with the upcoming Edmonton Chamber of Commerce Coffee with the Chamber Live. We're being hosted by the Edmonton Stingers at the Flair Airlines um, um, hangar in the Expo in, right. on the 16th of June and this is a relationship that's been uh, and a partnership that's being developed 
developed for the past 18 months. And um, in terms of uh, that event with the Edmonton Mennonite Center for Newcomers for the Rainbow Refuge uh, program, and there will be that announcement about our partnership. There are a number of different events across our province here in Edmonton, in Calgary, in Fort McMurray, in Grand Prairie, that we're looking forward to celebrating the efforts of our fellow uh, community organizations that are hosting workshops, Edmonton mm -hmm. Unlimited, uh, in partnership with the Grand Stone Theatre uh, earlier this uh, weekend. They had a number of workshops and they have a number of other uh, events that are happening that are specifically focused on um, supporting uh, business, uh, business efforts and workshops in the two-spirit LGBTQ plus space. So if someone is interested in being involved, what would you say to them? Um, I encourage everyone, really, whether uh, whether you're an entrepreneur, you are uh, a community member, or you're a business, to reach out uh, to us. There are a lot of opportunities to get involved in terms of volunteerism, in terms of signing up of membership, in terms of being part of the conversations that we've been having regarding the advocacy and policy efforts that we're advocating for across the province. So uh, reach out to us, whether directly on our website, sign up to the newsletter, follow us on social media, as in the upcoming months there's going to be number of um, exciting changes that are going to be um, rolled out uh, that um, I think many people across Alberta are going to be looking forward to. Well, Mo, congratulations on, on this effort for the, for the group and for yourself. And Thank we you. appreciate it coming in this morning to talk about it. For sure. Thanks for having us. Yeah, happy Pride Month. Cheers. Thank you so much. Mo Yassin is board chair with the Alberta LGBTQ Plus Chamber of Commerce.